We've been talking about artist Bisa Butler and her beautiful quilts. When you look very closely at her quilts, you can see that there is particular stitching, that it's not just the use of patches of color, but she adds special embellishments to what she creates. Here we see some extra beads, some extra beautiful swirls of stitching, and it all adds to the textures and the feelings behind her art. Quilters have been using embellishments for a long time. We can see that they're using special stitches, pieces of ribbon, even beads, and other kinds of things to add some interest and texture to their quilts. So we're gonna add some interest and texture to our quilt-like art by putting something soft behind our art and then using a pin or a needle to poke holes into the paper. We will be stitching through these pre-made holes. So try and make them very smooth and regular and don't do too many because I want you to have time to finish sewing through all of the holes you have made. So here I've done a few lines and I knew that I was gonna have time outside of class to work on this, so I kinda went crazy and did a ton of pokes. Next, you will get some embroidery floss. Find a color that you think will add some interest or accentuate the colors in your art. You can kind of measure a little bit longer than the length of the line you have created. This gives it enough thread to move up and down through the paper. You will have to thread your needle and leave a little bit of a tail. Notice how my hand holds that tail in place. So I'm going to push my needle from the back, carefully grip it and pull it towards the front. And then I'm just going to place a piece of tape down to hold that end in place. I'm gonna press really hard, make sure it's really stuck. And then I'm gonna continue with what's called a running stitch. I'm going to stitch back down from the front and that leaves a visible stitch from the front. Notice while I pull, I'm really holding that place between the needle and the thread so that the little tail doesn't come out of the eye. So I'm holding the needle, I'm passing up and down, but while I do so, I'm kind of just keeping my fingers clamped down over where the thread goes through the needle so that it doesn't pull out of the needle. So you'll continue this way on all of your embellishments. And when you get to the end, try and end on the back of the paper. You can cut it and tape down that end as well. So by the time you're finished, you'll have tape and some ends on the back of your paper, but on the front of your paper, you'll have some beautiful stitched embellishments.